everybody, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Um, today I created this desert glow look, I guess I'll call it. Um, I used a couple of items from my BoxyCharm that I got this month. And um, one of them was the Crown Pro palette. And then the other one was the uh, Shella, Shella uh, Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. Um, I'll be doing a review video of the products I got from my BoxyCharm. I think I'm going to start that every month because I get so many products from BoxyCharm and I love BoxyCharm so much. So I seriously rep it all the time. I, I don't buy makeup as much from the store anymore because I get a lot from BoxyCharm. It's $21 a month, which is a steal. You get four to five full-size beauty products, which range anywhere from price. I mean, I feel like Definitely, it's always going to be over $100 in your box. This month was way, well over $100. So if you're interested, sign up for BoxyCharm. It's bomb. Um, but yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so to start off this look, I'm going in with my Cover Effects Blurring Primer. This just gives it a nice, uh, slight matte feel. Um, then I'm going in with my Crown Pro palette that I got from BoxyCharm. I'm just going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone just a tad with it, with the lightest shade. Then for my transition shade, I'm going in with that light tan color and just applying that in and above my crease with my fluffy blending brush. Um, this is an IT Cosmetics blending brush. Okay, just to deepen the crease a tad, I'm gonna use the shade right below the transition shade. And then I'm gonna go in with that middle shimmer color. It's like a desert pink. It's really cool. Um, so I just spray a brush um, with some setting spray and then I just pack that on um, until it's the desired amount of shimmer that I want. Blending out the harsh line with the transition shade and then I'm going to go in with a deeper kind of rusty color on the outer corner. All brushes I use I'll list below. Then going in with my Jo Maselli Concealer in Fair. I just dot that under my eyes and I realized that I forgot to put on my base. Um, I use the NARS um, Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer in Terra, and then I mix that with the NARS Laguna Liquid Bronzer and add in just a bit of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in Prosecco Pop. All right, now I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair. I've been using this for so long, I love it. Blending that out with my Beauty Blender. And then I'll be setting underneath my eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Normal to Dry Powder in Ivory. I just use the puff that came with it and then I just use a flat sponge to pack it into my skin. And then I go over it and um, use a fluffy brush just to brush it away, any excess. Okay, just to glow up a little bit more, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. Then going into contour, I'm using my Pure Sculptor Palette and I'm going to use the shade Inventor. Um, this is very pigmented, so use a very light hand and circular motions when applying, and don't dip your brush in too much. Alright, then you'll just see me do a quick nose contour here, just using the same shade from the Pure Sculptor Palette. Now to bronze up, I'm using the Celestial Bronzing Veil by Kevin Aquan, and I place this on my cheeks, forehead, jawline, chest, nose, everywhere. Okay, to top the bronzer, I'm going in with a new product that I picked up at Girl Lactic. It's the Star Blush, and I got that in the shade Bora Bora. Okay, to finish the eyes, I just go into the same three matte shades and place them under my eyes. Then I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I do them super quick and I'm using the uh, Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. I don't care for the packaging at first. I don't know. I think it's kind of weird and I, I was quite confused. But the product that came out, I really liked. Now for the fun part. I love to glow. So I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sugar. And what I like to do is I like to mix butterscotch and starburst. And I use that dense 
big fan brush to apply it and I pack this on because the look is not complete without highlight. You'll also see me place this in the inner corners and at my brow bone as well. Okay, to finish the look, I go in with my Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. Look below for the lippy that I used today. Forgot to add that in. As always, thank you so much for watching. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and yada, yada, yada. Comment below if you've used any of these products or know of any products that I definitely need to pick up. Um, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed seeing how I got this look. Definitely stay tuned for a video coming out in the next few days um, of my reviews of the items that I got from BoxyCharm. I'm going to try and upload those every month because, like I said in the beginning, I love BoxyCharm and I love videos like that that are review product videos. Those are actually sometimes my favorite to watch. So I kind of want to do a little bit more of that. I want to do more videos where I'm talking in, but I also do love a good tutorial video where you can just listen to the music, watch it, and kind of follow along that way. Um, as always, I love you guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!